Good evening, children. Today I am going to take the four noble truth of one of the ancient religion that is Buddhism. Children, as I have already taught you in our last class about the religion Buddhism. Buddhism, here the Lord Buddha was the founder of the religion and Lord Buddha was a religious teacher. The title Buddha means the enlightened one which means one who gives the right knowledge. Lord, Lord Buddha purge his teaching through conversation, lecture and parable. As I already taught you that Buddha deliver his religious teaching through conversation, through lectures and through morally, through moral lessons. He gives importance on the path of truth charity and he gives importance to control over our emotions as i have given you about emotions which includes love hate jealous anger all this comes under our emotion so children lord buddha purge the four noble truths and the four noble truths are that the human life is full of miseries and pains that means our human life is full of distress and pains that is sufferings number b desire is the cause of misery. C. Number sorrow can be ended by living desires. Desires means wishing something to happen. And the four noble truth includes number D. That to attain bliss, that means to attain happiness, one should follow the eightfold path. The eightfold path, that means the eightfold ways of receiving, remaining happy, comprises of right views, right intention right speech that is right way of talking right action right living that means right way of living right effort effort here means right attempt right mindfulness right concentration that means right attention right focus so children have you got here about the four noble truth lord buddha purge that the human life is full of sufferings and these sufferings is cause of the desire sorrow can be ended pains can be ended by leaving our desires and to remain happiness, one should follow the eightfold path. And that eightfold ways of keeping happy involved right views, right intention, right speech, right action, right living, right effort right mindfulness, 
right concentration that is right attention effort right effort means right attempt lord buddha's teaching spread throughout india and later the king ashoka and kanishka followed religion buddhism they spread the religion in other countries of china nepal indo china sri lanka verma etc so children come to our next religion that is christianity christianity is the religion based on life and teachings of jesus christ so most christians believe that god sent jesus into the world as surveyor that means as rescuer christianity teaches that humanity can achieve salvation through jesus here salvation means free from sin so we can free from our sin through the teaching of jesus only have you got children christianity is the based on the life in the teaching of jesus christ and most christian believe that god sent jesus only in this world as their surveyor jesus was born at bethlehem near jerusalem so no one knows what time of year jesus was born so on the birthday was first celebrated on december 25th in the early 300 years so on the same day every year on 25th december his birthday is celebrated as christmas jesus taught the people around him the importance of peace love and compassion jesus advised them not to follow the system of tit for tat lord jesus told the people not to follow the system of tit for tat that means not to fight back if they were attack he believed that even an enemy can be conquer by love that means we can win <clears throat> our enemy through the path of love mahatma gandhi in our country after a period of 2000 years followed this principle principle of non violence principle of non violence bible is the most sacred book of christian a sacred means holy book of christians christians consider the bible to be the word of god have you understand have you understood now children about the religion christianity 
Christianity is based on the life and teaching of Jesus Christ. And they thought that God sent Jesus in this world as their surveyor. And in Christianity, the lesson based on that humanity can be achieved through Jesus only. Jesus also taught people not to take the path of tit for tat. Bible is the holy book of Christians and Christians consider the Bible to be the word of God. So children, come to our next relation that is Islam. Muslims are people who follow or who practice the religion of Islam which was first brought to the world by Prophet Muhammad in the AD 600. Prophet Muhammad taught people the importance of peace, love and brotherhood. The Quran is the holy book of Muslims, which is also spelled Quran, which is also spelled Quran. Have you got children now? Islam is the religion that was first brought to the world by Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad taught the importance of love, peace and brotherhood. And holy book is the Quran, which is also spelled as Quran. Now our next relation, that is Sikhism. Sikhism is one of the religions of India. Its believers call themselves Six, which means disciple. Here, children, disciples means the followers. Six are the followers of Sikhism. Guru Nanak Dev was the founder of the Sikh religion. He was born into a Hindu family in 1469. Guru Nanak Ji purged that there is only one God which is the invisible creator and who is always present everywhere. Guru Nanak purged that he gives the lesson that there is only one God who is omnipresent, who is always present. He instructed his follower to be aware of God's presence by rising early, bathing, meditating on the divine name, and directing each day's activities to God. Guru Nanak was against the blind feet. He took the good points of both the religion, that is Hinduism and Islam. Guru Nanak purge his follower all his life. He gives the teaching all his life to his disciple, to his followers. Guru Granth Sahib is the sacred book of Sikhs 
Guru Granth Sahib is the holy book of Sikhs, which includes the re- teachings of some of the gurus and other Sikh teachers too. So children, have you got now about Sikhism? Sikhism is one of the religion of India and Guru Nanak Dev was the founder. According to him, he says that God is only one who is omnipresent and he instructed his follower to be aware of God's presence by rising early, bathing, meditating and directing each day's activities to God. Guru Granth Sahib, the Guru Granth Sahib is the holy book of six, which includes the teaching of some gurus and other Sikh teachers too. So with this, we have ended to our religions, which includes Hinduism and their reformers, namely Swami Dayanand Saraswati, Swami Vivekananda. The next religion is Jainism. Next is Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, and the last is the Sikhism. So children, I think all of you have cleared about the religion here. All of you go through the page number 112 and 113 for completely so that you can acquaint it with the note fully. So with this, I'm going to wind up. Thank you.